first thing we need is preparation. The second thing we need is dedication. And the third thing is this. It's compassion. It's compassion. Guys, when we look at Jesus' ministry, there's one word that pops up over and over and over again. And that word is compassion. I want to read you a verse from Matthew chapter 14, verse 14, that simply says this. It says, When Jesus had landed and saw a large crowd, he had compassion on them, and he healed the sick. That's, that's not an unfamiliar verse. You can see that again and again in the New Testament. But what's different about this is the situation that's going on around it. Because I think this really gives us a definition of what compassion really is. See, if you were to look at this story just before Matthew chapter 14, verse 14, Jesus finds out about the death of John the Baptist, his cousin a partner in ministry, someone that he cared about and had a connection with. And when he heard that news, he withdrew to spend some time for himself. I'm sure he was sad. I'm sure he had a lot of emotions that he was going through. And he needed to rest and relax and to refocus. And I think we all understand that. But even in that moment, when Jesus pulled up in the boat and he saw the crowd, it said that he was moved with compassion for others. And guys, what that word compassion means to me is that Jesus cared more about the needs of the crowd than he cared about the needs he had for himself. He cared more about what he could do for them than what he needed to do for himself. Guys, compassion is all about us caring enough to act on behalf of others. Guys, I want to challenge you, not only on the mission field, but in your schools, in your youth groups, with every person you come in contact with, to be led to be moved by compassion. Because Jesus was a person that saw the needs of others and acted on their behalf. When he saw the crowd, he couldn't contain himself. It was all about what he could do for them. Guys, I want you to know that this summer, you're also going to see crowds of people, just like Jesus did. When you get to Jamaica, you're going to see crowds of people in orphanages who need someone to care for them. You're going to see crowds of people in vacation Bible school. They're going to come from everywhere in need of someone who cares enough to meet their needs, to share a hug, to make a difference in their life. Guys, if you really want to maintain your spiritual edge, not only today, but also on the mission field, you've got to be a person who is led by compassion to care about the needs of others more than yourself. It's not about who you feel, or how good you feel. It's not about how comfortable you are. It's not about what you're used to. When you're in Jamaica, it's all about how you can care for them. Guys, I want to encourage you to pour yourself out into others. When you empty yourself out into their lives, when you give them everything you've got, God will give you everything he's got. And that's the example that Christ gave us. Even in the moment when he was probably the saddest, the most frustrated, the most in need of some personal time, he took time to care for the crowd that needed him. Guys, this summer, when you're in the midst of the crowd, I want to encourage you to be led to compassion, to act on their behalf, if it's to give candy, to give clothes, to give a hug, to give a word of encouragement, to give love in any way you can, guys, be led by compassion. Guys, I believe that if you follow the example of Christ, that we don't have to be the kind of Christian that's hot one month and just absent from God months later. I don't believe that we have to be the kind of person that's on fire for just a missions trip or a youth camp and then struggles all year long to maintain what God has for us. Guys, I believe that God wants us to maintain our spiritual edge, to keep growing in Him every day. And when I look at the ministry of Jesus Christ, I see three things. Preparation. He was ready for the obstacles that were going to come His way. He was ready for anything that Satan could throw at Him. He had God's Word planted in His heart so that He could face the obstacles of tomorrow, and He was prepared. Not only was he involved with preparation, 
but he was full of dedication. Guys, he was going to be focused on his father's business. No matter what else went on around him, to his left or to his right, even if it wasn't something bad, if it wasn't what he was really there for, he was going to look past those things and keep his eyes on the prize that his father had for him. It was about dedication. And it was also about compassion. Guys, we need to be involved more in the needs of others than we are in the needs of ourselves. I want to challenge you to move on behalf of others, to pour yourself out into other people's lives. Because when you do that, God has promised that he'll pour himself out into you, that he'll keep you fresh, that he'll recharge you if you do that. And guys, I believe that if we do those three things, we can maintain our spiritual edge and be a little bit closer to God tomorrow than we are today.